best time to dip back and biceps is today. Um, what is Wednesday? Around 8 o'clock. So, yeah guys, welcome to the video. Today, today we're uh, hitting back and biceps, you know. And to, it's actually the last uh, back workout of the hypertrophy phase. Because next, uh, next week I'm going to be starting the strength phase. And I'm probably going to do a video on how I'm going to do that uh, this weekend. So you guys know what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, today's just going to be a... This video, you know, it's just going to be a workout clip. So stay tuned for that, guys. I'll see you in the gym in a little bit. Welcome to the commentary, guys. In this first few clips, uh, you're just going to see me do some warm-up for the, you know, back and bicep workout. So I'm just using some resistance bands to get everything warmed up, doing some uh, lower rows, some curls, and then this last one is some high rows. You know, just to get uh, some blood going to the muscles, get everything nice and warm because that's uh, very important. Now, my man, guys, it is you gotta come lower. Support him, yeah. all right? He deserves it, guys. Yeah. Follow him, too. I don't, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta give me his information, but you gotta follow him, too. What is it? He's vlogging. Vlogging? You can see him on YouTube, bro. He's yeah. paying me. Not yet, but I'm working. Yeah, I'm gonna be in your first videos. That's the one I get. Oh, shit. Is that vlogging, bro? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and we're back, guys. So, as you saw, the first movement is a uh, T bar row. So just focusing on pulling back, keeping tight, getting a good little stretch at the bottom, and yeah, get that squeeze. So we're doing three sets of eight for every movement, and yeah, just doing, um, what is it, 55 pounds on the bar, it felt pretty good. And then this next one, you know, we're doing barbell bent over rows. And as you guys can probably see, I'm doing an underhand grip. And the underhand grip just lets me, you know, stay a lot tighter at the bottom. Because um, with a regular overhand grip, I felt like right there at the bottom, that my shoulder was just getting pulled too, too much forward. And with the underhand, I just can stay a lot tighter, squeezing my upper back and everything. But yeah, you know, on the barbell rows, just uh, focus on... You know, pulling with the elbows and uh, just getting that nice squeeze at the top. All right, we're going to keep it moving. We got uh, some football bar curls right here. I don't know. I just call it the football bar. I don't know what it's really called. <laughs> but, yeah, I really like this movement because uh, it uh, lets you do, like, hammer curls and lets you really, like, overload it. But, yeah, so right here we just have uh, five pounds added to the bar. So oh, yeah, and we're going to have a little intermission coming up. <laughs> that boy's squatting the house. <laughs> Always getting that money, yo. While well, people are playing Pokemon, go, we're playing hero <laughs> gaming, bro. There's a fucking one right there. <laughs> What's that? I forgot what that one's called. The big uh, muscular one, macho, <laughs> something like that. Ooh. How many is he doing? God. <laughs> and 
and that was our squat intermission just to give you guys a little break from the back and biceps workout so i really like that clip too because uh that's uh, my friend ivan you know he's like my size he's squatting uh pretty heavy so it's a little bit of motivation for me you know get there one day and i don't know if you guys can see the quality difference i'm pretty sure you can between the front camera and the rear camera because it's pretty big there's a big difference between them but the reason i use the rear camera because you know when you're recording alone you don't got someone to help you it's uh it's a lot easier to just use the rear cam the front camera because it lets you see like the shot you're the scene you're setting up versus uh using the rear one i can't really do that but it's a really clear quality difference and then we're keeping it moving with the rowing movements and this one is a vertical row on the hammer strength machine so you know just giving you guys a little pit action right there check it out oh yeah i know you guys love that but yeah we're just uh how much did i have i had 22.5 on each side and just focusing on getting a good stretch at the top there retracting the shoulders first and then pulling down with the elbows. And I'm using a uh, overhand grip on this as well. And you know, do do do, what else? Just uh, you know, throwing in a different variety of angles for your back, cause you know, it's just a, such a huge area. So you really gotta get it from a lot of different directions. And then this is a kind of long distance shot. I had another shot where I was trying to record from the back of the machine. So I was going to kind of be looking at my back and my head and everything. But when I set it up, I started rowing and I guess the machine kind of made it fall over. So that shot was just horrible. But this was the last set of uh, this vertical row. And then up next, we have our last rowing movement. So this one is focusing on more of a horizontal row so you know kind of rowing at 90 degrees and yeah like i said you know just try to hit your back from uh different angles really get a great uh you know really develop your overall back so you're not weak in one area and again just focusing on getting that good stretch at the bottom retracting the scapula first and then rowing from the elbow and this uh moves really good because you know when you retract the shoulder right there, you get a uh, you're working the traps, your mid trap, lower trap, then you're rowing, so you're getting you're focusing a little bit more on the upper lats during that. And if you haven't tried this one, you know, really give it a shot. But yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. Okay, here is the last exercise doing barbell curls you know curling for the girls and yeah so just focusing on kind of squeezing at the top again you know really controlling that negative controlling the bar when it comes down and just squeezing the pinkies again i don't know just helps me get a better contraction when i squeeze the pinkies versus focusing on like the pointer finger middle finger when i focus on squeezing with the pinky more it just Helps me get a uh, better contraction. And this right here is uh, the last set of barbell curls. And uh, ba -ba -ba, what else? Oh, I just really like this scene too because I end up failing. So you're going to see in a little bit about halfway. I'm going to come up and I come about halfway and I can't come all the way to the top. So I just like it because shows you guys you know you might uh, not finish it but you got to come back and attack that you know finish those reps guys because it's those reps that you you know you're like struggling with that you almost can't get that are really going to help you you know make the gains so yeah that was it right there and then that's that ugly face you guys see from me but yeah that's uh that was uh the last second to last movement and you're gonna find out that I, I did some pull-ups, some assisted pull-ups. But yeah, guys, that's it for the commentary. Make sure you like the video. Damn it. Time to wrap up the video, guys. 
Um, finished up the workout. I just threw in some assisted pull-ups at the end that I didn't uh, record, but that was it. Finished up the workout, and I'm back home, and I'm hungry. About to get that post-workout meal, but that's it for the beauty today, guys. You know, like and subscribe, share it with your friends, family, everyone. Take care, guys.